at com efficiency. Um, for example, generative world foundation model, it is pre-trained model to generate high fidelity physics aware videos from various inputs like text, image, or video. And also it's built inside um, guardrails for safety to ensure content and safety, like it's blurring faces, um, some remove harmful prompt. Um, also, it will be including digital watermarks for accountability. And kind of nice because if you put a video, it will be saying, yes, it is rendered with AI. So the after regressive uh, models, it is predict the future frames in a video sequence, leverage this temporal dependency of re for realistic motions. And you'll notice in some input when we have it with image, for example, you have it the start image and you have it end image. And this is define the parameters for the, what motions will be rendered inside that animations. The other things it is model was so interesting and easy to develop, develop and open for developers. So it is very fast was integrated with Comfy UI natively. And speaking about integrating natively, to work with this model, I would recommend for you going to in install latest update. Um, they did include in a 3.11 version 3.11 the Comfy UI. However, the newest version 3.12 add additional options that, and also remove some not necessary nodes in there. So in my case, I went and I downloaded the model by itself and put it in separate folders so we can test independently from other installations. I would also recommend for you to install a manager, Comfy UI Manager. It will allow you to very easy access some of the nodes that you maybe want to go and use it in your projects. If you never installed Comfy UI or you just a little bit forgot how to use it, I would recommend to watch my other video. I'll put for that link down below. It's everything about Comfy UI when I show how to install from beginning and also explain how the everything node interact inside and also how to optimize and work with your models. At this point, you should have it your model Comfy UI installed and ready to go. So to work with this small NVIDIA model, we need to download models. And to all of these links that will be showing for you inside the video, there will be also the available for you down below in the descriptions. So right here, it's one of the link where you have the information about model directly from NVIDIA. And NVIDIA was nicely put at this on a hugging face as well on their own website. So for this, we need to download at least three files which represent the clip model, the weight model and the VA model. So first, again, all links down below for you. You can go to Cosmos to the link in a hugging file, uh, face and download it at least this FB8. If you want, you can download it a bigger model. It does support uh, up to 16 BP uh, model, so it's quite a bit large model. You can use it, but I found out if I use it even a smaller model with my 24 gigabyte VRAM, I was hitting um, maximum on this. Okay, when you download this, be sure you place it, these two files inside your clip directory. You'll notice Comfy UI, Models, Clip Directory, and you want to place it inside this folder. Next, you want to go ahead and download it via file, which is not a very big size, 220, 211 megabytes, and you want to place it in your models via folder. And last and probably the most painful, it is downloaded all of these safe sensors, the models itself, because they're quite a bit large size. You can download it one of the smaller with a um, seven bit, but just in case I download it all and I hope that someday I may have it more VRAM to run with this or figure out other ways. But right here you will have it your text world and video to world, which is also will work as an image to um, the world or image to video as well. These files, these models, you actually want to place in your model diffusion model folder. Well, and at this point, we're ready to work. 
you'll notice you don't download it any new nodes that specifically work with a cosmos model because if you update and when you update your comp ui those nodes will be including inside so they're natively available for you to work well and before we run to next step i want to actually showing you another small project that i'm working and this is based on feedback and your comments some of you guys was asking um, how I become programmer or what I'm doing or just general questions about this and I just start a couple of weeks ago my new channel I'll put a link for you down below so you're more than welcome go and look it is more vlog type basis of the channel and if you're interested let me know um, mostly it's for those people who speak with Russian but if you decide to learn Russian language this is probably one of better place to do that okay at this point hopefully your comp ui launch and start and working okay with no problems and usually when i just launched this new update i did not occur any problems at all the workflow what you see here is a standard flow that a workflow that provide from an nvidia i will provide for you links down below so you can download it two json files one which work with the text and second will work with the image let's look closer what we have it here and you notice we'll have it our load clip this is a fp8 it's one that we downloaded um, if you start if you're launching and you will get it some errors in this step it's most likely you put it in a wrong directory just watch from beginning and be sure it is in your conf ui models and in a clip model located because in previous before updated this workflow sometimes it's may locate it in your text um, folder so that's actually need to be in a clip okay also we have it our diffusion model preloaded here we have a couple disable nodes which i mentioned a little bit later but as we're going from clip you notice we have a positive and a negative prompt and this is quite a bit uh, nicer because many times when you work with latest flex models you'll notice flex does not support negative it's just ignoring negative prompts so it's kind of nice to have it one that you can readjust what you don't want to see and it's fully supported positive and negative prompts here as well next we'll have a size for the video we want to generate with height notice its length says 121 frames and this is what they recommended you actually can put it a little bit more but after this coherence degraded dramatically so it is meaning the images that you create or videos it start changing quite a bit you could experiment if you want to go with abstract model or i don't know just create something fun you can put it there but it is recommendation 121 um, by default it will render in 24 frames per second but you can also modify you'll notice right here where if we look on disable mod ltx free conditioning and we'll just need go back and we can actually disable bypass and re-enable now we have it our frame rate where you can change again 24 it's a film rate you can put it like 30 frames per second or you can reduce to 12 frames per second if you want have it more animations and after utilize applications like topaz video to add frame interpolations to smooth out that animations there just above this we have a load our diffusion model and next another disable um, node which is um adm model use it and it's utilized working with a if you have it installed pirate torch to make a little bit faster work in this way if you don't have it just disable and if you do utilize that will speed up a little bit of your processing i'm just going to disable those two nodes preserve the original conditions and next we have it case samplers and in case samplers you notice we have a new sampler steps or as multi-step from other people experimenting um they say euler work but not as a great and so far general from community response was res multi-stepper is the best um sampler in this case to work with this also you'll notice we have the amount of steps cfg so we're kind of familiar with those and if you're interested to know more about what they all do and how they work please watch that video i mentioned before in the description down below okay after this we have it our wheel preloaded and then notice this is all three separate and some models i think maybe in the future they all will combine to one 
but right now they're all different. Next, we have it our decode and generating our image. In our saved animations, notice we also have it here FPS, which is in many cases will override previous FPS from experience. And we have it your quality, um, loseless quality, but uh, previous. This is um, does have a compression if you don't enable the loseless quality next to this as well as disable if you want to save as uh, separate images in png format and currently it is set on a bypass so this is um image or workflow that will create animations or video based on your text input this is currently it's what generated on my computer and it took about for this video took about um hours and I'm running on RTX um, 3090. So if you have it a little bit more complex, I don't know how long it's taken. It. Um, next one, let's go look at another workflow. Again, a link for that workflow will be available down below in the description. And this is when we take our image and creating video, base it on our image. We have it very similar to so what we saw before. We have it preload our model. We have it our diffusion model. Here we have it disable our um, frame rate and preload um, negative and positive and negative um, prompts. And also we have it our preload image. Notice next we have it a new Cosmo image to video little node, which now also have it and image. I am not using and image here, but you probably um, want used if you want to have it animations between begin and end frames. The other things also I noticed in this case, I did not resize my image and you do want to put the resizer of the image to match your video input. By the way, there are suggest using 1024 by 1000 higher quality image for this as the reference. Um, the problem is because if my image is too large, you can see what's happening. It did clip out, it did not create full animation of uh, frames because I did not resize that image. That is actually good um, options. And next workflow, I will be putting resizer inside. Um, this generating from the beginning to end, it took about three hours. So with reference to our original image, it does take quite a bit longer than from generation from directly um, text prompt to the video. And at that time did not include preloading all models. Okay, REST workflow, if we look here, it will be very similar. We have it our case simpler with preset um, REST multi steps and cars. We also preload our video, video decoder, and we have it our animation save and it's save as WebP. Uh, some people prefer MP4, it's up to you, whatever format you want to prefer. Um, if you want higher quality, just change this to 100 values. Otherwise, with 80, you have quite a bit of compression artifacts. The same thing, so you have an animated PNG, which is currently set on a bypass. So this is two default workflows that will come with NVIDIA, and links will be down below. So you can install on your computer and try and play with them together. Overall, from experience, what I can see, you can notice it does produce sometimes little bit artifacts like something colliding. And I notice it does produce on some other tests when running around. Sometimes you have a problem with the decoding happening around and that is maybe will fixed in the future or need to be adjusted more with a um, via decoder or with some settings playing more around. And of course, if you look on the video generator itself, I did not see any of those artifacts when you're working from text to video. That is mostly um, happening when I was using image to video or video to video. Then sometimes I have those artifacts appearing. Overall, I will say this model compared to even Sora, it's quite a bit improvements. It produced quite a bit nicer result. If you want to see Sora result, check video on my channel where I generated from um, Google FX images, I create reference images uh, similar to actually with a border colors. I like border colors. So I'm right here like this image and I created 
animations based on this and sorry and you can see result overall i will say that currently this model perform a little bit more physical accurate compared to other ones models like a smoke water steam all this physical effect um it does have a problem with uh, working with like uh, people or animals sometimes you'll notice um, not properly animations but overall it is a very nice good model and i'm glad it is available for us to use it. well thank you for watching these videos and we'll see you next time